Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be talking to you about our live agent knowledge base and customer portal and the difference between the two. So firstly, what's the difference? Well, a knowledge base is a part of a customer portal, as you can see right over here. And a customer portal has three functions. Firstly, it lets you view the tickets that you've submitted in the past and lets you view all the responses that you received to them. Second, it allows you to submit tickets. And thirdly, it lets you view knowledge base contents such as how do articles, FAQs, forums, and feedback and suggestion boxes. So why do we recommend that every business has a customer portal? Well, the first reason is that it's a great self-service option for both your agents and your customers. Let me explain. Let me navigate over here inside of Live Agent to our customer portal by clicking this customer portal icon right over here. Then let me click on our already existing customer portal. As you can see, there are multiple articles in here. Some are marked as internal while others aren't. So what this means is that internal articles are available only to your agents. They can view them for training purposes or onboarding purposes to get more familiar with your products. The articles that are not marked as internal are available to the public, therefore your users, and they can use them to figure out things about your product on their own, such as this um, article that says how to create chat buttons in Live Agent. If you look over here, you can see it right over here, and your users can access it to basically use it as a self-service option. So instead of having to contact your agents about simple tasks like how to create a chat button, they can simply view this guide and find the answer themselves. The second reason we recommend that every business has a knowledge base or a customer portal is that it's a great SEO content generator. By creating long guides that are, such as this one that have focus keywords, you can basically improve your Google ranking and have a larger exposure, more clicks, views, and even sales. The last reason that every business should have a customer portal is that it allows you to track the progress of the tickets that you've submitted. So if I had an open ticket at this point, I could track its progression. Now that you know why it's important to have a knowledge base and a customer portal, let's get into the live agent side of things and let me show you how everything works in real time. So to navigate to your customer portal, you want to click this icon over here. Then it'll take you to this overview where you can start creating your customer portal by clicking this button. But since we already have a customer portal in place, I'll be working with the one that we have available, which is this one. So let's get in on there. So now let me show you how to edit an article in real time. I'll simply click over here and I can modify it however I like. So I can bold it, I can underline it, I can change the font, and I can even add an image or anything that I like. So let me add a photo, let me upload it. Okay, and there it is. So now I'll just save and I'll show you how that looks and how it's updated in real time. So let me just go back over here into this how to create chat buttons. And as you can see, the heading was changed, the Im image was added. So that's how it works. So as you can see, we have a great what you see is what you get editor that you can work with. There's many, many things you can do. Um, right over here in this panel so you can really get familiar with this in our free trial if you'd like. Uh, but now I'll show you how you can customize the knowledge base's style entirely to match your website and just your business style. So if you have a talented graphic designer, um, you can just have them work on this and make it match your business completely. So all you would have to do is click here on settings once you have your uh, portal selected so it could be this one or it could be the general one you click the settings and here's the configuration button right and so you can start um, editing and you can put your logos up here you can do the design from selected themes or you can do your own custom css and this is where your talented designer would do their magic so as you as you've already seen um, this is fully editable you can make it look however you like and you can post different kinds of things like how to articles faqs um, that look something like this you have a question and an answer you could alternatively post forums forums look something like this and you could even post feedback and suggestion boxes so guys this is how everything works i hope this video was helpful to you and if you have any questions please leave them down in the comment section below Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.